Hey there guys and welcome back to an all new Let's Play with Logie Shaw. You got Mike here, and you got Rick over there. Hey! Yeah, haven't heard his voice in a while. But here we have the Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. This is the PlayStation 4 version, but we figured we would uh we would try it out. So uh Yes, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit this play button and see what happens. What is it that calls you to such a place? Duty? Knowledge? Revenge? Or merely fame? Your journey will take you into the dark itself. To a land that preys upon its people. You clutch onto steel and faith, but you are far from the sight of your gods. Lost in the mist, where only the dead will find you. Oh. Holes, I want to do that with fire. But no this. <laughs> For realsies. You cannot make demands of the devil. For he is the ancient. He is the land. And you are trespassers. Okay, apparently. Neverwinter has Ravenloft. I'm pretty sure that was Strahd. So I think Strahd was his name. Alright. Yeah. A Star Adventure. New character. Yeah, as you can see, I've never played this. Rick, as far as I know, hasn't played this. Oh, another nope. cut oh, another cutscene. Saldus. Oh my god, that's Saldus. I want that dragon. I love this animation. Yes. How do you think the gameplay is gonna be? I seriously doubt it's gonna be this crisp and beautiful, but... Oh, no, absolutely not. There 
here is a cleric. Oh, that's totally Saldus. Oh my gosh. Hello. Sorry, I got a little excited there. <laughs> ah, here we are. Character creation. And that's a couple tabs. Now before I start looking, I'm really wondering how close to the actual tabletop Dungeons and Dragons is this gonna be it also oh. depends on like which version of, of the tabletop that uh, that they are going for that's, I that's mean, fair like how old is this game how old is this one yeah um I don't know I didn't actually check that wasn't paying that much of attention I'm going to assume it's either 3.5 or 4. I've never played 4. No, it's probably 3.5. Nobody liked 4. Yeah, but I mean, 4 was built more around the video game aspect, but for tabletop. From uh, what I heard. It's probably 3.5. That's probably where they, uh, where they went with it. I'm just going to start out as... Uh, human especially if it is more like the tabletop then humans gonna be the best one to go for when starting out although if I know you you're probably not gonna go with a human you're gonna go with uh he's, he's probably gonna go with this guy but uh we'll see I'm gonna go yeah with I know who you're human. saying I know who you're saying but I don't think so Really? What all do they have? Human, half orc, wood elf, moon elf, looks like you actually had to pay for that one. Sun elf, mm -hmm. dwarf, halfling, half elf, typhling, and trow. Okay, I mean that's a pretty good starting list. It, it, it is. Let's see. I'm right. gonna say no, no, no. Human. Character class. Oh, we got some options here. Okay, so we got Guardian Fighter, Sword and Shield, Great Weapon Fighter. Oathbound Paladin. I like Paladin. Scourge Warlock. So that's the Mage. Hunter Ranger. We we all know how much I love bows. Control Wizard. So basically the manifestation of a blue deck in magic. Devoted Cleric. And a Trickster Rogue. I really like how that trickster rogue was in that little clip. Let's see, let's look at the paladin. Paladins are warriors of light who take holy vows to protect and preserve the light. Paladins take an oath of devotion or an oath of protection during their training to further specialize how they serve the gods. Uh, okay. Oof. I'm not sure who I should go with. Who do you plan to go with? Well, I went with the Sun Elf. And, uh... 
Definitely gonna go for something magic. Mm hmm. So you're gonna go magic. I should probably go with something that's more melee. I'm so, not gonna be the cleric. Let's see. You're probably gonna be the warlock. In all reality, it yeah. looks like yeah, that or the control. It comes out to either control or warlock. Control is probably more like debuffs and whatnot. If you're wanting like yeah. fire and whatnot, then and your yeah. damage, that's gonna be scored to warlock. Yeah, I'm thinking warlock is gonna be like the invoker evoker. So, yeah, that's what I'm going for. Let's see. All right, so that's gonna put me with a melee character. So we're looking at the trickster rogue. Um, the oathbound paladin. Oh, I can re-roll scores. Or I could go with the Hunter Ranger. Hmm. I think... What do you think, Rick? What should I go with? Should okay. I go with the Rogue, Ranger, or the Paladin? Uh, I'm thinking you're... either Rogue or Ranger. Rogue or Ranger? Alright. Yeah, for you. And then, theoretically, they're pretty simple, except for one's up close and one is more, like, distance and whatnot. Well, the uh, ranger, it looks like they have it set up to be bows and two weapon fighting. Bows so, and two weapon fighting? Well, I mean, that is how a usually... ranger would be, but I mean, they rely on stealth and distance, mostly. So, if you want up close and personal, I would go with the, uh, the uh, other one, the rogue. Which would typically go for stealth and like short weapons, like picking locks and traps and whatnot. But then again, we don't know how they're going to play out with either of them, and in most cases, the rogue can do all the same stuff that. I mean, the ranger can do all the same stuff that a rogue can. Yeah, to an extent, yeah. Alright, so. I think we'll go with uh I think we'll go with the Ranger. Yeah. Let's go with the Ranger. The human Ranger. Oh my. Look at that. So the ability scores, we do have the the chance to to re-roll. But the very first yeah, I just thing spent the last couple minutes doing it. Yeah, well the very first thing that came up, alright? So it looks like they're mm -hmm. keeping true to these. So for a ranger, I need dexterity, and my secondaries would be wisdom and strength. Well, strength is a 13, 11 con, 17 dexterity, 10 intelligence, 15 wisdom. Oh, that's with the plus two. So 13 wisdom and 11 charisma. It's so literally the first rolls that it came up with. Not bad. That's not bad at all. I kind of, kind of want to re-roll and see if I can uh, come up with something better. Kind of want to. Yeah, I'm try it. Eighteen ducks. Oh, look at this one. Oh, 
almost afraid to reroll now. I now have a 16 strength, 16 dex, and a 14 wisdom. I'm good with these. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with these. I don't wanna. I'm gonna mess it up if I keep going. Alright. Let's see what we can do to define. Design this character. Alright, so it looks like you have a bunch of presets. And basically mm -hmm. go along with those. Uh, good enough. Oh, it's presets and then it goes into detail. Yep. I'm not really too worried about going into big detail right now. So, just, uh. That. Gotta have some facial hair. Come on. Oh, the Sun Elf can't have facial hair at all. Not that, even like that, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. I, I mean, elf. some elves can. Dark elves can. I'm not sure which of two to go for. Either a monitor, or however that's pronounced, or uh, Cyric. Hmm. Either way, you can guess what color it's going to be. I'll go ahead and say uh, red. Very good, sir. Very good. has deity options. I wonder if that actually... Uh, this selection is for flavor and has no effect on gameplay. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, since it doesn't really matter... Here we go. Sylvanas. Character Origins. Oh, boy. Do we uh, have to type it? <laughs> No, it's, uh, this section is for flavor oh, and has goodness. no effect on gameplay. Basically, you're just choosing where your dude, man, chick person comes from. Let's go with Baldur's Gate. Okay. Let's not go with Baldur's Gate. I'm a ranger. Let's uh, go with the Grey Veil. Yes. Bink. Origins, variants. Heroic Skyon. Savage Youth and Woodland Hunter, huh? Hmm. No. Kind of like the Woodland Hunter. Nah, I'm going go with the hero of Sky on. My mama and daddy settled in the the Grey Vale, after having a life of adventure, and I was raised on their stories, and it inspired me to become what I am today, a level one ranger. Oh no, 
enter a character name. Okay. The hardest That's, part of any character. Dude, I am so horrible with names. I always have been. Okay. Um. Okay, let's. Human Ranger. Hey, there we go. It's gonna work. Confirm. Hey, it is gonna work. I am Lucius Khan. Hunter Ranger. Male human. Alright. Well, let us begin our adventure. I still haven't chosen an origin. Ah. Well, I'll meet you somewhere. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Have you seen anything for uh, co op yet? Uh, no. I'm in the opening cutscene. Where did you choose? What, my origins? Hey, are you alright? Uh. Huh? My origins? Yeah. The Grey Veil. Yeah. Alright, looks like I've hit the tutorial. Wow, there's stuff all over the place. That is a very interesting, um... I'm going with Luar. Ability screen, I guess? Apparently, Neverwinter is under siege as an event. Oh well, let's uh. That, can that not pop up in my screen? That'd be great. So. Okay, let's talk to him. When I saw the Draculich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. But what brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? Uh, don't remember. Alright, begin adventure. Options, there we go. There we Overall volume, let's take that up a little bit. Uh, I have voice volume, there we go. That needs to go up because I can barely hear the dude. Okay, let's try that. how it tells you, you know, what to do. Press L1 and left button to open your inventory. Select an item to equip it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not that. Yeah, let me, uh, equip my bow. There we go. And equip this tunic. Press the touch pad to toggle between HUD elements. Okay. The quest tracker displays current quest objectives. Go away. Alright. So... Okay, so it's menu. Is that a map? It is a map. It's talking stuff. Must have a target. Okay. Um. Ah, here's our little path. Oh, I don't know what I did. Okay. Oh, well, there's an auto run. 
That's interesting. Fires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. Okay, so there's a camp. Oh, that's pretty cool. You just stand here and I heal. When you finish a quest, turn it in to a contract for credit and rewards. Oh, contact, not contract. I guess him? Yeah. Found a bonfire. <laughs> it's not a bonfire. It's good to see someone it is a bonfire, ship. sir. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I need your help. Wait, before I continue talking to him, you said you're at the fire? Alright, well I don't yeah. see you yet. It means we're probably still in the tutorial. Although we stop for Lindra's main force, the battle is far from over. The battlefield is crawling with mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Naaman is performing a ritual of Kellenborn to lay the newly dead to rest. That is sure to draw an attack here. I must stay and make sure Naaman finishes her ritual. <laughs> I just washed up off of an attacked ship, and you're asking me for help? <laughs> Not five minutes later after my trauma? Sounds like real life. <laughs> Alright. R2 to use rapid shot. R2 to use a rapid shot, huh? Ah, oh, okay, I have to hold it. You need healing, do you? Oh, here. Oh, you also need healing. So far, this is kind of reminding me of, like, Dragon Age. Hmm. I guess almost, yeah. I could see that. Bonfire. Wait, you just got here? Mm -hmm. All right, I still don't see you. I I saw someone else. So L two for split shot, huh? I 
where this mirror is. Yeah. Oh, hi. I got some more arrows over here. Treasure chest. Alright, well, I'll take those. See what this dude here wants. I will answer your questions if I can, but do not break my concentration. Uh -huh. Alindra had a Dracolich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox defend the walls when it attacked. There was a terrific battle, and we were able to defeat it. I don't know how Valindra got a Dracolich. Perhaps a deal with the cult of the dragon. The important thing is that we deprive her of it. When a Dracolich is killed, its spirit returns to a special phylactery. From there, it can possess the body of another dragon and be reborn. This Dracolich's spirit has not departed yet. I am trying to bind it here. If it cannot return to the phylactery, we may be able to destroy it and deprive the Lindra of a powerful ally. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know why, uh... You have the icon over your head like I'm supposed to talk to you, but... I can't, nope, can't cancel it. Woo! Okay. Not gonna attack me. You're not gonna attack me? No? Okay. I need this. Nope. Yeah, nothing has attacked me yet. I'm just like killing them as they stand. Yeah. Let's put the arrows in there. Speak with this guy. Must, drive the wizards back. Must Thank we? Thank you for the help. The red wizards haven't been driven away, but this will at least force them to keep their heads down. Oh, yeah, that's something. Hey, level three. More undead are attacking Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never and storming the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart of the city. Protectors Enclave. I must stay and deal with the Red Wizards. Please, go to the bridge and aid the defenders. Destroy the undead soldiers near the gate to our north so it may be opened safely. Then talk to Private Wilfred. He will get you inside the city and show you the way to the bridge. Be careful, these undead are more aggressive than others you fought. Tempest grant you strength. Okay. So we gotta kill some of these undead soldiers over here. That's simple enough. Press square to use Marauder's Escape to dash backward, evading your enemies. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty cool. You still just gonna stand there? Oh, no, oh, no, you didn't just stand there. Wait, wait, what button? This button. Finally started attacking. Wonderful. <laughs> oh. 
Level three. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. There you. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Really? Apparently, there's a whole lot of nothing over here. Oh. What's up? I have a soul puppet. A soul puppet. Yeah, I kill something with one of my with a specific ability, uh -huh. and I get a soul puppet. Oh, okay. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. I told you drying out by the fire would do you good. My mother always says, warm clothes make for a warm heart. You've thinned out the skeletons enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. Linkletter gave me some healing potions for you. You may need them on the bridge. Okay. Looks like I'm limited to one though. That's heavy. Right yeah. now. Alright, I am traveling. Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Okay. Let's go there. Now, I'm not entirely sure how long the tutorial is supposed to be, so I'm not entirely sure when we'll be able to link up. They're in trouble! We must go to their aid! We must go to their aid! Oh no! Clicking the L3 button and move it any direction to shift away from enemy attacks. I was totally not there. I was not in this circle last time. That's okay. I'm also an archer. And apparently I can shoot further than they can. So, we're all good. They just keep coming. Yes, yeah, that's kind of the point of undead. Is that they can just keep coming. Oh, I'm in a cutscene. Are you saying that because you can see me? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Are you also on the bridge? Uh, I don't think so. Well, oh, you, you, I see you, the bridge. You, you would know if you were on the bridge. Yeah, just past the fire. Oh, that's how I use it. The game that's house. weird. We're going to make it. 
Level ah, four. So that's the dodge button. Wait, there's a dodge button? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you have it, but I do. I don't want to scare you. Valendra! <laughs> oh, it's Valendra, not Saltus. Okay. Uh, well, pretty sure he's dead. Oh, use a big one. I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> All right. Oh, cutscene. Okay. I feel like this here is probably going to be the end of the tutorial. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill Valinja right here, meow. Uh, uh, no, I'm not. She's gone. You missed. Uh, missed. See, I'm figuring stuff out now. Uh, why is any of a target? Why is he back at full health? Oh, did I get too far away? Oh, that's dumb. Let me come on this side. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Pium. And Pium. He's supposed to be dead. Die. There we go. Press X to pick up loot. Unidentified item, a bound lesser scroll of identification. Well, how convenient is that? Nope, killed the Harbinger. Hey, uh, Private Wilford, you don't look too good. Sorry, should have been more cautious. But when I thought of yeah, you're right, he doesn't. Because of her, find Sergeant Knox and tell him what happened. Ask him to check on my mother from time to time. You have to stop her. Lord Never Ember is no saint, but he's better than the alternative. If Never Ember fails here, Valindra will rule Neverwinter. Find Sergeant Knox. He's one of Never Ember's guards. One of the good ones. <laughs> one of the good ones. Stop. Valindra. Well, sorry, Wilfred. That's what you get for running in like an idiot. Correct. Never went to... I like the game so far. Yeah, it, it seems, you know, it's pretty simple. And it'll take a minute to get used to how they have the controls. Because those are a little wonky. But I mean, this could be good. I like how the entire thing so far is story. Granted, it's, that's basically the tutorial. Kind of have to have a story to get it going. Mm -hmm. But, uh... I mean, it seems pretty cool. It could definitely be a thing. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Right now I'm thinking Diablo slash Guild Wars slash Dragon Age. That's a couple of slashes. Yeah. Oh, I'm in a cutscene. Please, follow me. Me too. Many of the citizens here wish to thank you personally. Oh, they want to thank me personally. <laughs> I bet they do. We lost a lot of good people today. The harbinger appearing so close to the wars does not bode well for the safety of the army. understand you lost quite a few of your belongings when the ship you were on was destroyed by the Dracolich. Aye. Talk to Supply Sergeant Quinn. He'll get you sorted out. Oh. Talk to him, huh? Hello, adventurer. 
Hello. Thank you for protecting the city. I heard about what happened on the bridge. You stopped the Harbinger. We all owe you a debt. Nox asked me to set you up with some clothes to replace those you lost. I'm afraid I don't have oh, any yeah. fancy, but at least they're warm. Take a look in the chest. Take a look in the chest, huh? You mean this one that just blew up? Let's check that. Oh, well, yeah. Nothing fancy, but they're warm. Lord Never Ever has asked me to take charge of organizing the city defense. Right now, I'm just following Sergeant Knox, doing as it says. Yeah. Alright, here's our character sheet. I'm gonna assume that that was just a... Uh... No, not there. Uh, uh, I think it was L1 and left. Yeah. Identified item. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming that it automatically put the clothes on us. Yeah, I'm assuming. I haven't checked yet. Oh, nope. Fashion items. Basic leather tonic to keep you warm and dry. So... Um... I guess equip. If you equip, you won't be able to trade or auction it. You'll still be able to unequip or discard it. I mean... Sure. Yeah, just, just equip it. Let me just stay warm. That's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and hit that. Okay. <laughs> so that's there. on over here. Part of that charge is hiring brave adventurers like yourself to defeat threats before they end up at our gates. Mm-hmm. To that end, please look at the chest for a token of my appreciation for your efforts today. Uh-huh. Oh, you got me another longbow. I have some more work for you if you're interested. Some more work for me if I'm interested, huh? Well, before I figure out if I'm interested, I'm gonna look at this bow. Which... I mean, it's an item level 9. So I'm assuming I can't actually use that yet. Oh, or maybe I can? Oh, I need to be a level 3. I am a level 3, so I can use it. But what's the damage on it? The one I have is 18 to 22. This one just says equip does 15 power. Um... I guess... Oh no, inspect. Uh, 25 to 31 damage. I don't know why it doesn't show there, but equip it. There we go. Now we have that. Alright, now before I talk to him, where are you at, Rick? Uh, I just left him. Just left him? Yeah, I talked to him and I went the opposite direction. That the line was telling me to. Let's see. There's gotta be a way for us to uh meet up. I think I might have just sent you an invite. I think that I have no idea how to check. Uh, go to social and friends. I'm not trying to find a guild. My friends. 
see, you're in number, th you're in the thirteenth instance of this area. Can I change instances? You said friends. Yeah, under social. Cues. Instance, how you cannot change the Wait, instance, what instance of this map. Huh? I'm not sure. But I cannot change the instance of this map. I am in combat or it is the wrong type of map. Okay, so maybe this this map uh, can't do that. Well, well I just invited you to queue. Just invited me to queue. According to the thing, Bob. Huh. Ooh, what's this? Well, anyways, I think that's enough for this episode. We can try to figure that out before we come up on another episode. But, uh... Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment down below any tips that you might have or anything else that you guys might want to see. Go ahead and share this with your friends so that they can see it. And subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see some of our future content. But until then, we will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Bye.